morning, good evening and good afternoon YouTube. Welcome back to Galway, Ireland, where it's actually sunny at this particular minute. You know Ireland is famous for its cliffs, castles, green fields, all of that stuff. But if you're moving here or if, you, or if you just moved here, if you're visiting Ireland, you might be overwhelmed by the Irish people's love for sports. It is overwhelming sometimes how much Irish people can support they, their teams. Irish born and bred guys if you're new here and yes rugby is one of our favorite sports I think. Coffee. Never mentioned rugby not yet. Oh sugar <laughs> I gave it away. <laughs> There's three main sports here I guess which would be rugby the GAA and hurling. Hurling is I would say the national sport but correct oh, me is. if I'm wrong. No hurling is about 3,000 years old definitely is I would say hurling and GA are probably the most popular sport, but we're very good at that. We have some historical facts about hurling coming later. But yeah, we're gonna talk about Irish people and sports today. We have some things we need to do, things we need to ask you. So let's just get on with it. I have a question for you, lovely YouTubers and subscribers. We have visitors coming to our house and we need a cab or a taxi that can provide us with two car seats for children. So if you guys know anybody that has a car, and two carrier seats for children. Please let us know somewhere on the bottom. Back to the sports. As I mentioned, hurling is a national sport of Ireland and it is really old. It's one of the oldest field sports in the world. It is over 2000 years old and it was based on a prehistoric Irish game, game which name I will not try to pronounce because it's in Irish and I don't know how to pronounce it. It will be somewhere here. But yeah, during the centuries it was even, the, it was English and they even tried to forbid it in the statues of Kilkenny in the 14th century. I don't know why, but it didn't work. It gained in popularity so much that it, like 500 years later, in 190 something, it was even uh, presented as a demonstration sport in the Olympics now. Is it in Olympics now? I actually don't know, do you know? You can tell us in comments. I don't think it is, but yeah, it was a demonstration sport, the internet says, in the Olympics, but other than that, in 2018, it was uh, applied. I don't know, it was listed as a UNESCO World Human Cultural Heritage. Something like that. Celtic warriors were playing hurling. Hurling is like, it was nearly a sport that was not pushed on all of us, but we were all kind of encouraged to try it and play when we were younger. See, I did not know that one. It's also but well, how would you compare it to, to rugby and the GAA? Is it more popular, less popular? How is it different? I think we are the best at rugby. And I think people, I think it could be 50-50. I'm going to go 50-50 on rugby uh, on, in regards to Irish people and what we prefer. Because that is a very tough question. Because there's big GAA fans out there. Like, I mean, diehard fans and hurling fans. But there's a huge rugby fellowship as well. Does anyone actually play hurling except Irish people? That's what I don't know. I couldn't find any like big news about, I don't know, can you hear it from this music? But yeah, like a world championships or something. I don't know, do people play hurling anywhere except in Ireland? I think Americans. Come on guys, you let us know. Are you playing hurling over that side of the world? I would hope, I would hope so. Comment section. Also, uh, I went to Specsavers, which is an optician here in Galway. I believe they're a UK company. And um, for years, I've always had my eyes tested for free with my PRSI. PRSI is what I contribute weekly uh, tax. So it covers my eyes and my teeth. The nice young lady said to me that, okay, it'll be a 25 euro charge on my eye test today. And I was a little bit confused. So I questioned that whole thing. And I was like, well, I've never had to pay before. It's always been free. So I went online, did a bit of Googling and I had all the information to free eye test with Pura's eye. And I just showed it to her into her face. And she was like, oh yes, yes. That's just the standard test. But for 25 euro more, you'll get a better insight to your eye health. And it's a more advanced technology. Point of the story is, don't trust people who are full of shit in their respective businesses because they will try and sell you shit like that even though you're entitled to a free one. <laughs> I get so angry sometimes. <laughs> do you know why? Because I like to do things my way and I need to use a little bit of Google sometimes so that I can remind myself on what I'm talking about. But certain people <laughs> likes to do it his way as y'all been probably watching this is six nations y'all know ireland won Woo, we're the best <laughs> but uh yeah we played really well did they nice lose the last game oh, sh that we won. <laughs> it was very tight in all the games actually i think ireland played exception what so comparing rugby to the likes of ga and hurling very different sport 
um, as you probably know and aware because I'm sure you all googled it and stuff um, yeah I don't know why but I've never really got into GA and hurling as I mentioned in previous videos because I don't find it as entertaining as rugby I don't know if it's the aggressiveness I guess of rugby or it's more I suppose masculine in a sense not, not saying now that GA and hurling is, is, isn't the same hurling hurling but uh, yeah, I've always been more drawn to the more, to rugby. I'm definitely one of those those fans. But I respect and appreciate all sports, and I think it's awesome to see all our young Irish people and all our young people in general getting into sport and yeah, and embracing our Irish traditions with GA and hurling and taking on rugby if they join. My brother used to love rugby when he was younger, and his height and everything, but he never kept it up. Now, unfortunately, every coin has two signs, and the love for sports, unfortunately, goes hand in hand with betting, which, if you ask me, is just, I wouldn't say disgusting, I would say the disgusting part is the, the whole the marketing of betting, which is crazy these days. But I do think Irish people are overdoing it a little bit, and it starts with small things like buying the scratch cards every morning. I work in retails, and the amount of people every morning at 7 a.m. who come in, just to buy a scratch card is uh, just ridiculous and not healthy if you ask me. But yeah, betting is a problem if you ask me. But I don't know, what do you think? Oh Jesus, get the gap. Get the bet naps on you and do not. Yeah, we do as Irish people, we do love a good old uh, bet and uh, scratch cards and all that stuff. And it's pro it is, it's not good. It really isn't because it is a bad point. There's people lining up at like six, seven o'clock and to go into wasting a lot of money. Literally. But, um, and I do believe there is a lot of people getting help for that also. So that, uh, all jokes aside, um, you definitely need to rein it in guys and yeah. I learned a valuable lesson years ago with gambling. What bothers me is the whole marketing about it. You can't turn on a... Let's say I watch a lot of uh, streamers playing games because I like games. And most of their ads is about betting, which I just don't get it because everyone knows that most of their audience is underage. So I don't know. I think it's just ridiculous, but you can tell me what you think as always in the comment section. Years and years ago when I was, I think about 18 years old, I had like 10 euro and um, there was a guy literally outside my job and he was giving a, a tip a tip on a horse that was running that day. So I wasn't actually working in Galway City, it was outside the city and I literally had 10 euro to get my lunch and to get my ass home that day. So I had a moment like, do I put all this 10 euro on this winning horse that is supposed to be going to win? And uh, yeah, I done that and the horse didn't win. He came in last and I had no lunch for the day and I had no way home. So I had to walk probably about two hours to get back to my house. And I learned a valuable lesson that day about gambling. Do not gamble. I think it's a waste of time, waste of money. And it's the punter that will always win. Or no, no, we're not the punter, sorry. The punter will always win. You will never win from gambling, guys. Give your money, invest it in something fun. We have a Patreon for anyone that would be interested. We have daily chats with our little group family on that. We have weekly updates. You get to see our videos before they go live on YouTube. And we let everyone know on Patreon what we're doing that day and what's go going to be coming in the rest of our videos. So if you guys are interested, and it only costs the price of a beer, sticky bun, or a cup of tea once a month, we get to explore all our little world there on Patreon land. So check it out. The best place to see a sports game of any kind in Ireland is, of course, a pub. Because the pubs are the heart of Ireland, if you ask me, and nobody does pubs better than Ireland. Would you agree? 110%. I think we should go back now. I'm freezing and I want another tea. <laughs> if you go to a pub, just keep in mind, everyone's there to... to I Maybe not to meet someone, but if you're joining a game-watching party, let's call it, Feel free to comment on it, feel free to support your team. Nobody will hold a grudge or anything. There might be some banter, but it's normal when watching sports. Go and watch any kind of the game in Ireland in a pub and you won't forget it. Where's everyone's favorite bar to watch games in, in Ireland? If we have any Irish people in our, yeah, on our subscriber list, let me know, let us know where you like to watch your games. Because I, I like to, you know, to change it up a bit, go to different spots. <laughs> when was the last time you watched a game in a pub? A hole in the wall with you when what we were playing was against. Oh, we, was, we, we didn't really watch that. I did. I was, was drinking mostly. Drinking. The hole in the wall in Galway, it wouldn't have been my first choice of bars. I haven't been there in years. But I think it looks no. very cool. A little bit specific, but from for people from Galway, what would be your first pick 
at a pub in Galway to watch a game. And the more important question for me, I guess, is because I have some friends coming over from Croatia next week. Where in Galway would you get the best pint, best pint of Guinness? My favorite is Crane Bar for now, but I don't know enough of it. We need everyone to give us their suggestions and their recommendations, so yeah. drop it. Best pint of Guinness in Galway, comment section, where? He lost his precious caribou bar. And yeah, the caribou was there. Um, I don't know, what is the name of that street where? Wutki. Wutki, oh my God, I should have known that. <laughs> Blonde moment. Uh, yeah, so himself loved caribou, but uh, yeah, that's gone. And yeah, they started going to the hole in the wall and I had my first visit in there and I thought it was very quirky and it's really pretty in there. And it's, it's yeah, compared to what it was years ago, which wasn't as nice. Yeah, check out the hole in the wall, guys. It wouldn't be for a very like a mature crowd, but definitely for young and yeah, enjoying a bit of young banter. That's definitely the place to go. If you're old, you go to Chernoctons. I love Chernoctons. That's my favorite bar in color. I need to correct myself. Chernoctons isn't my favorite bar, it's my second. The Crane is my favorite bar. Why? <laughs> because that's what my mum and dad met. Heart. It's because it has connections for me. I love it. Only because of that reason though, because my parents met there. Before Lorraine gives us final thoughts on why Irish people are so crazy about sports, we have guests coming next week and we will be making a week in a life in Ireland video, I guess. My idea is to film a bit, brother. bit by bit, every day, and then put all of that together to just show you what we do. When we have guests here. But yeah, that's the short-term plan. Plan? Plan. Anywho, to finish this off, why do you think Irish people are so crazy about sport? I think because we're incredibly enthusiastic about anything we're passionate about. You give us something that we feel we're good at, as Irish people, we bloody soak it up like sponges and we give it 110%. I think that's why, and I think we enjoy the buzz of it. We love that pressure, that feel the excitement that a game brings. Uh, we work in the hospital, well I did work in the hospital, he did in the past, and nothing more comforting than a game on a Sunday in the hospital. You literally have the patients that are maybe on life support trying to get up out of the bed and move to the closest TV to watch the game. So yeah, I think we're just incredibly passionate. I think it's in our veins. That does sound very nice. Yeah, and so is Croatian. Croatian people are... Oh shit, they're starting sporting. the music, we need to cut it ah. off. If you like this, press the like button. If you didn't, press the dislike one. If you loved it, press the subscribe button. Check our Patreon, our socials. And we're going home because we've got... Easter goodies! Easter goodies for our friends coming with kids so they can paint something. We have a... Comment. We'll see you next one. We will indeed, guys. Because of the music behind us. We gotta roll. Catch you in the see next ya. one, guys. I will stick around.